So, the other thing you want to be doing, besides um, everything you do on YouTube, is you want to be sharing things around the web. And one of these key places is obviously Facebook. But the first thing you need is a Facebook page, because ideally you're trying to get people to get more involved in what your channel is doing on YouTube, but also bearing in mind that you want to try and keep your family stuff separate, which is why you have a page instead of your um, family Facebook. So what you want to do is go up here. There's a little arrow next to the, the one with the lock. Allegedly, come on, there we go. And we're going to create a page. And you get a list of these different things up here. Uh, is it a local business or place? So, like, say it's a restaurant, a uh, company, or organization, or institute. Could be a big company, or it could be a college, whatever it is, a brand or product. You could actually be a brand yourself. Causes or communities, entertainment, artist, band, or public figure. I actually have one as a public figure already. Um, but I think I'm going to go for local business. So what category am I? Well, this is going to be for the teaching English. So it should be able to education of, of some description. Arts, entertainment, attractions, community government, doctor. Where are we? It's not university, you see, because it's actually, let's put it down as just a local business for now. I can change this later. Uh, business or place name. Uh, let's give it Learn English Online for free. Something simple. Is it going to have a location? I don't know if I can get away without an address, so let's just... No, see, I can't have that. Okay. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to ditch that one. I'm going to go over to brand or product. It could be easier. Should be easier to... There we go. Just put website. Brand or product name. Learn English online for free. Get started. Because the main reason I want this type of channel for my English one, for example, is it ties in f traffic back to the YouTube channel through the community chats that go on through Facebook, which is ridiculously huge. Um, but also, it's good to actually get engagement with people in one place. Um, you can have a bit more of a forum type chat where YouTube is very one dimensional. So next thing is, I'm going to put my description in here. So what are we? Uh, we're going to teach English online. So I've just put a little thing. I'm going to upgrade this. This will want about 150 words. Well, minimum about 20. Um, but I just want to push this through for now. You put your website link in here. We don't actually have one yet. So I'm just going to put my own website. Um, you could probably leave it blank. Let's try save info. So yeah, it didn't need the website in there yet, which is good because I can put a new website in later. And now it's asking you for what graphic you want. I'm going to put a very basic one, which is just simply a cat. Um, yes, it's not relevant, but I'm doing this tutorial just to show you how to, oh, that'll do I'll have a okay, um, but the reason I want to do this is not to actually do the business um, but actually just to show you what you need to be doing so like this graphic here you'd actually want a picture of whatever it is maybe your pizza restaurant so you want your pizza logo there um, whatever is relevant you know if you're teaching English online this might be a photo of me but I'm thinking of having more than one teacher so I might actually create a logo for the website branding. So there you go. That's our current brand. 
So next thing you do is add to your favorites, yeah. um, which is gonna add it to the side of your news feed on your normal um, YouTube, uh, Facebook page. So your personal Facebook page, this will now appear down the left hand side. We'll go next from that because we now narrowed down all the bits and pieces of getting the basics done. Now we need to decide who is this for? Well, obviously it's not for people in the UK. Well, maybe. Um, with a high number of immigration, it could actually be. Um, it's hard to say. Let's wait and see. So our age group is, I'm not really fussed on age. So I think 65 will be the top end. I am a bit, f mm. I'll go to 13. The reason being a lot of kids in places like uh, Vietnam and Singapore learn at about age eight upwards, I suppose. So teaching them English online, the age could be as low as possible, really. Location, we don't really need a location. Exclude. So I'm not really fussed on the actual physical location of where, because this isn't my location. This is the location of people that want to be taught. So I could put English. Let's see what it, English comes up on here. Anything? English language. There you go. British English. American English. And that'll do for now. I suppose I could put ESL. Let's see if we can understand ESL. This is why you need to spend a little bit of time on this. Uh, ESL TV. Okay, it doesn't know what ESL is. So we'll leave that blank for now. Main thing is we've got languages. Uh, languages, English. All. Save. And this is just a demographic of what Facebook will identify as people that may be interested in our new page. And here you have it. This is your page already set up, ready to go. Change the cover, put something interesting in here. Uh, oh, it's going to walk me through it. Okay, getting around. Everything you need to manage the page. So you always click on that. There's your like. So that the first like will be us. Invite your friends. This will actually send a link out to all your friends on Facebook. Um, copy the link, blah, blah, blah. It's self-explanatory. When you get people like your page or something, they appear in your notifications up here. And you get direct messages as well. So there's public messages which go in your timeline and then there's private messages that go in, in your um, private messaging section up there. You can add uh, uh, the about page, photos. It's exactly the same as using a normal uh, Facebook, but obviously with a little bit more business orientation. Now, one of the things you can do is feed videos into this. So let's find a video link. So I'll go over to YouTube. I've just loaded this. And you want to share it. This is just an example. Uh, just grab that link. The right click, copy. Uh, your own YouTube channel, by the way. Because um, you're just trying to put them into Facebook. So if I right click, I just want to show you, because you may, may never have done this before. It will load a thumbnail of the video. There you go. But there's a way of changing this as well. Um, but basically you just put publish. But if you're putting any videos in, because Google, Facebook, etc. are not very good at reading videos, always put a description of what the video is about. And maybe add a, a little link back to YouTube channel. But you will find that this works pretty well for getting some of your videos around. The other key element here is Facebook likes videos in Facebook. Um, they're 
giving those a priority. So this one's in YouTube. But the next stage is actually adding some content into Facebook um, by uploading into Facebook. It gives it a priority over channels that are purely YouTube feeds. Um, so bear that in mind. So you just press publish. I'm not going to publish it. Um, but that's what you do. And that'll add your videos. And then obviously you can add photographs. And some photographs can be like with the English, learn English online for free, it could be 10 words, 10 words of the day and just creating like poster type things and generating traffic that people pass around the web because they'll all come up, but come back to this page and will take an interest in your YouTube channel as well. It increases your viewers, which is the main thing because I know some people are going to go, but I don't make any money on Facebook. Yes, but you're trying to get your channel busy. If you get a busy channel, they will go to YouTube anyway. Um, so don't worry about that too much. And that's basically it. This is your first um, page. You'll get an email and they'll send information about your page straight through to your email box. Here we have it here. See, it's trying to get me to upload a photo, add a description, add a link, create a post, invite your friends. So as you can see, it's very, very easy to do once you set it up. But also, like I said, it keeps all that p information in one place. So you're not um, getting people onto your personal page where you've got people discussing things that your friends and family aren't interested in. And you're not feeding stuff into your page that your friends and family aren't interested in. So this keeps the pages away from your Facebook page, your personal Facebook page, but also it's very, very useful for people to find it because obviously a lot of people aren't even in the Facebook directory as such, they're private. So this is more public, it's more open. You can also change that if you want the private grouping. Um, but I suppose I could do this in another video on all the different things around Facebook because Let's face it, if you're doing this for the YouTube videos, you're not going to close it. You actually want people to see it. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about the tutorial and give me some feedback.